We'd like to start the press conference with Minister Motegi. Minister, please. At the outset, there are two points I would like to make. Well, first of all, about the Japan UK EPA partnership uh, negotiation. Well, between uh, Japan and UK, after my visit to UK during the early part of the last month, since on official level, almost every day, Japan and UK officials have had a series of uh, severe negotiations, and as a result, progress is being made. Uh, climax uh, is reached. So this afternoon, I will have a virtual meeting uh, with my counterpart, International Trade Secretary Truss. And you have to have a negotiation first for reaching a conclusion, but uh, we hope to aim at uh, reaching a broad agreement today. One more point from me about the uh, resumption of uh, international travel. Last month, when I visited Singapore, having uh, mainly short-term business travelers in mind, we agreed to commence in September a business track that will enable limited business activities even during the self-quarantine period. And uh, accordingly, uh, we made an agreement with the Singaporean government, and accordingly today, both countries' uh, foreign minister will be jointly issuing a joint press statement and say that uh, on the September the 18th, the business track will begin. Singapore is the first country that uh, we are going to commence a business track with. And already with the seven countries and region, residents the track have begun. And in addition to the residence track this time around, it would enable the containment of the further spread of the virus at the same time, but uh, marks an important step toward resuming by phase and uh, partially the cross-border international travel. And uh, with Singapore, uh, we are working on the residence track, which will enable the travel of uh, long-term stayers, such as uh, business experts, and toward the early resumption and operation of the system, uh, we are continuing on with uh, coordination. We'll take your questions now. When you're done, please come to the engineer's microphone and state your name and affiliation. So we'll take your questions now. Please start. Yes, please. Oishi from TV Asahi. I'd like to ask about the short, the resumption of travel for short-term business persons. Can you talk about the significance about the resumption of such travel? And also, on a, candidly speaking, the fact that you're able to reach an agreement for this for some travel, travel, please share with us your assessment. Yeah, with regard to Singapore, of course there are certain uh, emergence of uh, new infections, but there are foreign workers who are in the main who have been infected lately. So those people who are engaged in businesses, uh, their infections have been staying at a very low level. And further, this is a Singapore, and between a Singapore and Japan finances and any other physical logistics and others, there are very high business needs. So just the other day, I had an opportunity to visit Singapore, and uh, with the business truck, we mutually agreed to resume the regime and uh, formulated a joint document, and it has been worked out and finalized. As for the business track, Singapore is the first country to have such a business track with, and we would like to broaden it to other countries. We hope it can be a good model. Next question, please. Baba from NHK. I would like to ask about uh, the national security policy. I understand the Prime Minister will be announcing a new statement. Can you talk about I understand that he is going to consider a, a new strategy for missile. What will the impact on Japan? Well, sorry. Your assumption for the question has been the issuance of uh, Prime Minister's statement. Are, are you saying that based on the facts? One more time, please. Yes, it's based on my reporting. Thank you. 
Well, as security situation surrounding Japan is becoming uh, more severe, as for Japan's security, how it should be, internal discussion within government is underway within the limit of the current constitution and with the notion of exclusive defense. And also, there is a, a division rules basically between Japan and the United States, which will stay, stay the same, unchanged, and we are uh, having such a discussion while listening to the ruling party's uh, views and uh, all the ministers related, including myself, have attended such a series of meetings within the government. And we, in relation to that, you mentioned about uh, the uh, concrete uh, matter and the timeline of a drawing conclusion. I have to refrain from making comments on these at this time. Next question, please. We must hear from Shukang Kiyopi. I'd like to ask about uh, the discussion you had with Ms. Otsumi of Japan Times last week. It's about the issue of discrimination. It's not so much whether or not there's an intention for discrimination. I think there's effective discrimination. That is very important. So based on that premise, let me ask this question. I do apologize for speaking so fast. On, on, you had the discussion with Osumi on, on August 28th. You mentioned, you asked, do, do you understand Japanese? That's, you repeat that uh, statement two times to osumi -san. But I do think there's no, nece no necessity to make such a comment. Because before that, you, said, you only said, please direct your question to Japanese Immigration Service. So the only Japanese word that is difficult to understand with the Japanese Immigration Service Agency. You mentioned that you have indicated and chosen the most optimal language and that you have selected English for that purpose in this interchange. If that is the case, then Immigration Service Agency shouldn't have said both Japanese and English for that particular term. So there's a lack of consistency in your comments. So my question is this. Please be brief. One question at a time, please. Thank you. I will ask my question now. So this example, I think this, if I may, if I may. So your question, so this, you have not asked a question yet. Is that what you're saying? One question at a time, please. That's what I've been repeatedly saying. So, so I think there is a sense of a lack of consistency. And I think this has the effect of being very impolite and a very, this is an example that should not be repeated. That is my view. What are your views, Minister, please? All of you are here as a reporter within this room. For the past one year, you have listened to my press conferences. Uh, within which there are some who ask me the question in Japanese or in English. And within the circumstances, as much as possible, as accurately as possible, precisely as possible, I intended to answer those questions posed to me. Just the other day, about the exchanges which are taking place uh, during the uh, previous uh, occasions, uh, I said to you that time that uh, there should be an intention behind the question. I would like to accurately understand the question when it is asked in Japanese language as well, when I cannot to get to the true intention behind the question, I always uh, ask the same inquiry because uh, I always wanted to, in good faith, accurately respond to every question posed to me. That is the intention. So this was not the very first uh, case. I always uh, have uh, tried to respond the best as I could to the questions about the scientific grounds. That was a question posed to me. I said to you previously as well that uh, in terms of the foreign minister, what is the diplomatic consideration? What will be outcome? What will be the impact on other countries? What will be the impact on the economy and whatnot? Uh, these are the repeated questions I always I receive every time. But uh, there was the first time that I was asked about the scientific ground. So I wanted to really understand what was behind the accuracy of the scientific ground, its meaning, because I was not able to understand. So I posed a question in English myself, and afterwards in Japanese I also asked the same about what do you mean by the scientific ground. But the scientific ground was only the thing I have 
received. So about the infection status of the infectious diseases and so forth, then it would involve the entry into Japan and so forth, immigration control, which is under the purview of by Immigration Services Agency, that is the organization. So I referred that question uh, to that agency. So through the exchanges uh, of uh, Exchanges. Uh, since it was asked in Japanese, I asked in uh, answered in Japanese as well. Well, you, at the end, you mentioned that uh, Osumi-san seems to understand Japanese. So that is why the Immigration Service Agency you use as this in Japanese and not uh, not the English version. If that's the case, then the term "Do you understand Japanese?" you asked that twice. Based on your comments so far, I think there was no necessity to make such a statement. So why did you have to repeat that statement two times at the end of your comments? And also, regardless of your intention behind this comment, I think you had the sense of the effect of, of being ins insulting the other party. What are your thoughts? In good faith, I always answer the questions. Is that satisfactory? Thank you. Next question, please. It should be from Sankei Shinbu newspaper. At the cabinet meeting today, I understand that Mr. Tadami has now been appointed as a new uh, a new ambassador to China. There are very very satisfying issues with China. So, what are your expectations to Mr. Tadami as the new appointed uh, uh, ambassador? Yeah, Mr. Tadami, Secretary General for the uh, Secretary of the uh, Minister, he is well versed in Chinese language and he has stayed uh, in China before as well. And uh, he is well versed in various different uh, policies and he has been deeply engaged in for the East China Sea, South China Sea, and Hong Kong, and many other issues pertaining to Japan China issue. There are so many out there. And of course, they are neighbors, and there are so many pending issues between the two countries as well, inclusive of the pending issues at the high level. Dialogue can take place, and one by one, it's important that uh, all the pending issues uh, will be resolved. I attach importance to that, and uh, Mr. Tadumi uh, will be the ambassador, and he's going to make a diplomatic effort. I'm sure that uh, he's going to be very competent in his uh, new job. Anything else? If not, we'd like to conclude the press conference at this juncture. Thank you for your participation.